Welcome to part 2 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series. In the last video, we walked through how you would create the sketch you see here. Today, we will turn the 2D sketch into 3D CAD geometry. We'll start by choosing the extrude command from the 3D model ribbon, select our sketch, and define the extrude distance to be 1 inch. After clicking OK, we'll now fill in some of those sharp edges. Notice you don't need to be able to see all of the lines that you want to select, as you can choose potential lines through the existing geometry. Changing the radius to half an inch will result in perfectly rounded surfaces. Next, we'll look at two different ways to cut holes in our CAD geometry. The first method will start by creating a new 2D sketch on the surface by right-clicking and choosing New 2D Sketch. Next, select the circle sketch from the ribbon and hover over the semicircle until a center point appears. When you move over the point, it will turn green indicating you're centered. And you can left-click and drag the circle to the size you want. You can also type in the diameter, which is what I'm going to do here. Choose the extrude command again from the ribbon, but this time choose the cut command to remove the material. Define a cut distance of a quarter inch to finish the hole. We'll create another hole opposite of this one using a different method. We'll start in the same way by creating a 2D sketch, but this time we're going to choose a point command and create a center point. After finishing the sketch, selecting the hole command will provide us more advanced options than the simple extrusion. Choosing the counterbore option, we can define the various parameters to create a hole with differing diameters. That's all it takes for these commands. Make sure to check out part 3 of Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics to learn about the Revolve, Circular Pattern, and other commands.